Now something a little different. It's hard enough for some kids to understand what their parents do for a living, but try working through this next true confession. A woman who's used to showing everything now takes on something even more revealing, being a parent. She cooks breakfast for her 10-year-old. Come on, honey, we have to go. Takes him to school every morning. I love you, Bye. Cuts his hair. But Natalie Oliveros is not your typical working mom. You're a porn star. I'm a porn star, yes. Um, and I don't mind that title. Porn has given me everything that I've ever wanted. This mega porn star must confess, growing up in a close-knit Catholic family, she really wanted to be a nun. I was always so close to God. I stayed a couple weeks at the convent, but I didn't become a nun because I wanted to have sex. <laughs> yes, you did. So, yes, I did. And I said, nuns can't have sex, so I can't be a nun. True enough, but Natalie had no shortage of other dreams, according to her sister, Heather. She had big dreams of becoming a movie star, Miss America, ballerina. At just 17, Natalie moved from upstate New York to the Big Apple to pursue a career in ballet. And she would wind up dancing, just not at Lincoln Center. She would wind up across town at a place that's almost as well known, a strip club called Scores. It was there that I was surrounded by people with the same kind of fantasies that I have. What happens to men when they come into the zone? Men just fall in love with her easily. And women, too. She's, people are just drawn to her. One customer was drawn to her big time. You met your future husband when you were dancing in the club. Right. But in an odd twist, her walk down the aisle would lead straight to the world of porn. This man wanted, as a wedding present, for me to make an, a porno. But hold on a second. So... You're going to get married, and he says, as a wedding present, mm -hmm. I want you to make a porn film. Yeah. That's what he says. I think he used the word adult film. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> and that was a good idea. Right. No, no, I was appalled at the idea. Appalled, but intrigued. I figured I could make this one and only movie, and no one will ever hear about it. But then, that first time in front of the camera, Natalie discovered something profound about herself. For me, it's easier to expose my body and to be a fantasy than for someone to get into my head and really, um, and I've become very vulnerable. You say you caught porn fever after that. What is porn fever? I have the bug, I can't, you know, can't wait to do it again. And so Natalie became a porn star named Savannah Sampson. What I did was very real. There's no anything in my life except this person that I'm with. And, and then that's probably why I rose so quickly in the industry. And sometimes Savannah wasn't just acting. So there are many romances for you. Yeah, many romances. I, I, the worst for me is to actually have an orgasm. Can I say an orgasm? Sure, you, you know? just did. Keep going. <laughs> yeah. She makes it sound so fun, but when pressed, confesses to a much more painful reality <laughs> well, what about when there's like five or six people in the scene though you... i'm usually heavily medicated in those situations ah yeah now the covers get pulled off you yeah. would put yourself in an altered state in order to handle a situation like that look you know it is what it is i would have a conversation with myself in the mirror and saying look you gotta do this thing you why know. why not i'm gonna leave this i don't need this i'm smart i'm going to go do something else I'm a people pleaser. I said, I'm going to do this thing, and I'm going to do it. This was a way for me to be the star of my own movies and, and live that sort of um, life. Her on-screen persona was exploding, starring in six films a year for the MGM of porn, Vivid Entertainment. But just as a star was born, so was a son. What was your thought process in terms of, is this right for me now? Because now I have him. Now I've got this little angel. I knew that I, I wouldn't be in front of the camera forever. And I guess maybe deep down I knew I was buying time. 
before I would ever have to even deal with the situation. She kept the details of her career secret from her son and her parents. I'm just an entertainer and this is how I choose to entertain. And, and morally speaking, that's what's confusing about me is that I do have morals and yet it's contradictory, I guess, by the industry that I'm in. At the Adult Video News Awards, kind of like the Oscars of porn, her film, The New Devil in Miss Jones, was nominated in nine categories. I won Best Actress and Best Girl Girl scene, Best Group scene, I like a lot of different things. Savannah Samson! So proud and yet so burdened. Most of my family is pretty much ashamed of what I do, and so thank you for the support. And now, with a son old enough to know the truth, what will he think? of his mom at some point you will have to make a confession to your son mm -hmm. everything a to z how will you well i'm not going to say everything a to z but there's something to be said with giving too much information too soon up next natalie has a difficult confession to make but does her son know too much already stay with us once again chris cuomo with your mom does what? It has been a whirlwind decade for Savannah Sampson. In her public persona, she's a mega porn star with mainstream appeal. Action! How will I ever thank you? In her private life, her real name is Natalie Oliveris. Now a single mother whose true passion is raising her little boy. Hi, baby! A remarkable son. I think my mom's more cool than like other moms. Ten-year-old Lucino. He's smart. Far exceeding great standard, Lucino. Sophisticated. I can't just make him peanut butter and jelly. That's not happening with this kid. And sweet. Love you. Love you more. What are the three biggest things that your mom's taught you so far? To be loving. To try your best at stuff. If you put your mind to it, you can do anything you want. Important life lessons from a porn star. A paradox to be sure, but to see Savannah as a mom is to see someone who's kind of a prude. You watch yeah. South Park? Mm -hmm. I hear him laughing and I'm like, what do you watch? He shuts it off right away. It's no, I really like not for kids, South Park. But it's anime. I know that's the only thing about it, though. <laughs> it's dirty. <laughs> Why is this shears? Oh my gosh, mom. Natalie is now anxious about protecting Lucino from a sex-saturated culture. Can I be in peace now? She confesses she's never even really talked to him about her career. Hi, honey. Or even about the birds and the bees. How was school? Now she thinks she's run out of time. They talked about puberty. They talked about puberty in school? Yeah. So what they say about puberty? I don't know. It's just like, said like how you're going to change and whatnot. So was it just about puberty or did they touch on sex and things like that. Oh yeah, they talked about that. They did. Concerned, Natalie meets up with moms from her son's school. It would have been nice if they would have told the parents that they're going to have this conversation with the kids. There's a place for sex out of the schools, 100%. But let's keep the topic age appropriate. Natalie is worried about what her son is learning at school, but clearly her own industry might be a bigger threat. One study reports 90% of kids from 8 to 16 have watched porn online, a notion that, in no small measure of irony, bothers Lucino's mom. I've been trying to knock down all the smut and all the nudity when you Google me that comes up. It's not just about me, but it's about Lucino and his friends, and I would be devastated if he saw his stuff on the internet. But it may be unavoidable. Even at home, her awards for group sex and best all-girl sex are right there for anyone to see. You've set him up with a potential predicament here, right? I would hate that my choices would damage him in any way, of course. You've raised a really strong child. Luckily, she's got a strong sisterhood of support from the moms at school. As long as you're a good person, you're a good mom, that's what the takeaway message is. You know, what would you choose to do with your life? It's totally fine. Well, you look at somebody like a Bernie Madoff. Oh. What I'm saying is Natalie is not doing anything with these hedge funds are <laughs> doing. Natalie certainly understands the controversy that comes with porn. She's more concerned about talking to her son about what she now fears 
He may already know. I want him to open up because I, I want to know what is going on in that little brain of his. <laughs> I think that you understand a lot more than I'm aware of. Because you always, you know, make references, but in an innocent way. You know how we often say things like make jokes and stuff about Savannah Sampson and everything? We do. Obviously, this is a discussion Natalie wants to have in private. Mm -hmm. We can talk about that another time. Yeah. Right now, you're all a little scrunchy baby. I love you a ton. A ringing endorsement of mom. A less resounding acknowledgement of her career. I don't think he knows as much as we think he knows. When I'm with him, he turns into a little baby. He wants to cuddle and be a, a little boy. So to talk about things of adult nature, just... And perhaps that gives us a little insight into why Natalie is now moving in a new direction. I have to go forth as a businesswoman and not use my body to get what I want. So that's always a challenge for me. This is the vineyard where some of my grapes have been grown. So now she's selling something new that also tickles the senses. Wine. Natalie has partnered with a vintner in Tuscany bottling wine under the label Savannah Sampson. A lot of times when I first launched with the Savannah line, it was like, ha ha, right, you know, porn star wine, you'll give me a break. But Natalie is having the last laugh. Her first wine, Sonia Uno, received a gold star from a big-time wine expert. Suddenly, with the 91 rating, Robert Parker, and it's like, well, wait a second, you know, don't knock it till you try it. Are you leaving the business in part because you don't want Lucino to have to say, my mom is a porn star? I knew it was going to come to a point where it's time for me to step away from being in front of the camera. Was it redemption for you? Did you feel that? I felt proud to give to my parents something that they can tell their friends. And maybe that's for myself, too. And for your little boy. Definitely for him. My life means nothing without him. And so that everything that I've done in my life, all the choices I've made, will one day benefit him instead of being a shameful thing for him. And that is our program for tonight. But be sure to stay tuned for Nightline after your local news. A look at the controversial head of American apparel, Dov Charney. I'm Chris Cuomo. For all of us at 2020 and ABC News, have a great week.